For years, movies and science fiction stories have projected what an intelligent fleet of human-serving AI robots will become overly intelligent and take over the globe. Are we ready for it? Hey folks, welcome back to AI Science. Drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel to help us grow and be part of the science community. Currently, the technological ability to create a robot that looks, moves, and speaks like a person is far beyond our grasp. Even further beyond our grasp is the ability to imbue such a machine with the ineffable presence known as Sonzai Khan in Japanese. Because we need to know more about ourselves to recreate human presence that we do about the collection of clues and micro-movements that elicit empathy, put us at ease, and gain our trust. We may one day solve the difficulty of producing artificial general intelligence, a machine brain capable of performing any human intellectual work instinctively. But why would we want to engage with it? Because we've evolved to engage with and trust humans, Ishiguro believes that the more human-like a robot appears, the more willing we'll be to share our lives with it. Hiroshi Ishiguro is an android developer. Human replicas that are beautiful, realistic, and uncannily believable. He's utilizing them in his studies to better understand the mechanics of human interaction. His primary objective, though, is to unravel the ineffable nature of the connection. For that purpose, his research groups are pioneering a new field of study known as human-robot interaction. HRI is a cross-disciplinary field that includes elements of engineering, artificial intelligence, social psychology, and cognitive science. The goal is to examine and develop our changing connections with robots. HRI aims to figure out why and when we are willing to communicate with machines and perhaps even feel fondness for them. Ishiguro feels he is getting closer to gaining the trust of each android he creates. A collection of androids is held and maintained in a private area at in real life. His hardest workers, a pair of his reproductions of mature women, are arranged in this space today. With its blackout curtains, thin corporate carpeting, shelves packed with cables and monitors, and an array of wigs that belong to the Geminoid F series of models. The name is a pun on genius, Latin for twin, and it serves as a reminder that they have human counterparts somewhere around the globe. Students and staff may be testing, measuring, and recording the reactions of dozens of volunteers to the androids that have at their disposal at any given time. What aspects of its behavior or appearance, such as its unique facial expressions and little body movements, do they find repulsive? What is it that brings them together? These androids are employed to answer an increasing variety of research problems, including what role does nonverbal communication play in developing trust between humans and, by extension, between humans and androids? In what situation must we treat an android as if it were a human? Ishiguro's collective of labs is devoted to the engineering of human closeness in this way. Meet Erika. She will greet you and inquire about your name and how your journey to Japan is going. As you speak, she will nod her head and her eyes wander, yet she will appear to be simply listening to you. This unsettling humanoid is actually a conversational robot companion. Erika is part of a five-year study to create a talking companion for Japan's aging and decreasing population. Many people in Japan live alone and need to talk to other people, says Takashi Minato, a researcher at Hiroshi Ishiguro Laboratories. The humanoid robot will be able to assist them. The robot revolution is taking place all over the planet. In the future years, firms in the United States are looking for robots to replace mundane work, and at the CES trade conference last month, manufacturers demonstrated a variety of robots that, for the most part, add a set of digital eyes and smiles to smart-linked speakers like the Amazon Echo and Google Home. However, if you want to be on the cutting edge of robot companions, Japan is the place to be. Asian academics are among the front-runners in the development of humanoids, and robots are venerated in Japan. There's a hotel in Tokyo where guests are greeted by robots, a popular robot restaurant with a show of battling Transformers and several cartoons. Comic books and movies featuring friendly or heroic robots such as Astro Boy. In Hong Kong, researcher David Hansen, whose company's motto is We Bring Robots to Life, has produced Sophia, a lifelike robot that has made appearances at trade exhibitions and on the Jimmy Fallon Tonight Show. Erica's creator talks about how she reads the news as an anchor for a Japanese TV station on her Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram profiles, while Sophia has her own Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram pages. Sophia and Erika, on the other hand, are not for sale and will not be for a long time. Erika would cost over $200,000 if she were for sale, according to Minato. It is possible to have a humanoid robot experience here. For years, according to Jim Boer a computer science professor at Harvey Mudd College in Clairemont, Calif, for the time being, robots in this country will be service machines. People will gravitate towards adorable and pleasant robots in an animated form factor that is clearly distinct from being human. 
He argues, in the United States, consumer robots are only now beginning to enter the market and the two most readily available fall into Alexa with eyes category. Jibo is a little device that resembles a white Echo speaker with a spherical iPad mounted on top of it. It's designed to be placed on a table and can provide weather updates, play music on demand, and snap images. It can learn from people it lives with thanks to its face and voice recognition technologies. It costs $899 at a moment. Kuri is a circular, more traditional robot, a miniature version of the humanoid Rosie from the Jetsons that many of us remember from our childhood. Alternatively, there's the Pillsbury Doughboy. Alternatively, you might make a snowman. According to the business, Kuri is on wheels and has emotive eyes that blink a hidden camera and can wander around the house. Aside from the movement, there's not much it can't already do with Alexa or a smartphone. It can play music on demand, capture photos, and give imagery for live streaming from your house. Kuri, which was released late last year on a limited basis, may be pre-ordered for $799 until March 1st, after which it will cost $899. The first deliveries should arrive in spring. Jibo and Kuri, unlike Erika and Sophia, do not have lifelike skin or prosthetic eyes. Beyond the novelty of successfully developing a humanoid, Julie Carpenter, a research fellow with the Ethics and Emerging Sciences Group at California Polytechnic State University at San Luis Obispo, says there are legitimate reasons to build them. We have a sense for how we can connect with it intuitively if it appears human-like or animal-like, she explains. If it replies to you in a way you understand, it makes operating the robot more efficient for you. Minato believes that humanoids will not be seen in Japan for many years. You can find Erika at Hiroshi Ishiguro Laboratories of the Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute, a multi-story think tank in Kyoto. Ishiguro has long been a proponent of robotics and has developed a number of humanoids, including one in his own image. He is in third year of a five-year endeavor to create lifelike robots. Erika, on the other hand, is unable to move. She is still, her movements guided by sensors strategically placed around the room to enable her to recognize who is speaking and the directions in which the voices speaking to her are coming from. Carpenter believes that humanoids will eventually join us in our living rooms. We're a little less sympathetic to the idea culturally right now, but that will change as our exposure to robots rises and they become more integrated into our daily lives. If you enjoyed this video, please click on our other videos and stay tuned.